I've set for myself three time limits. 10 minutes, one hour, and four hours to make three different sculptures. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sand is probably one of the most difficult things to sculpt with, so let's see how long my sand really lasts. So today we're located on the north coast of Spain in the Basque country on a beach called Neguri. We got lucky it's a rainy day, as you guys can see. So there won't be that many people. It keeps the sand wet and we definitely need the sand wet. I brought a couple things to help with the build. A shovel, a bucket, and a trowel. A hose would be helpful to wet the ground, but since I live in the city, nobody I know owns one. I was even lucky enough to get a shovel. I mean, I wouldn't buy one. What would I use it for? Dig up treasure? Burying bodies on the daily? All right, so we're gonna be building it next to the tab because we have direct access to the water. We're not gonna be building it near the shore though because the tide will come in. All right, so this is actually my first time ever sculpting. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna turn out. It might be a huge fail. Who knows? So first things first, we're gonna fill the entire bucket with water. We're gonna take this all the way to that side. Oh my gosh, it's going everywhere. I'm gonna do the 10 minutes here, the one hour there, and then the four hour one near the top, because the four hour one will probably take the most water. All right, timer for 10 minutes, so let's go. All right, so before I do anything, I need to wet the sand. If it's not wet, it'll be very, very difficult. Two minutes, wow, okay. So the sand is still pretty freaking dry. <laughs> Since this is 10 minutes, I'm probably not gonna do such a big sculpture. I think something like that should be good. Once that is done, let's put in some more water. I think this is probably the longest part. It's just to prepare the sand. Oh, my back hurts. How many minutes in? Three. Three, okay. Did you guys know that the world tallest sand castle is actually 17 meters tall? Like, extremely tall. Pretty impressive height. So, if you guys want me to break the world record, sure, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes, not too bad actually. Sand, I mean, if it's going well, it is kind of fun to make. But once it breaks down, you'll break down. If you don't have patience, this is probably not the best activity for you. I should have probably used more tools for this, but the only thing that I had playing around was a trowel. And it's doing the job pretty well. And I think I'm done to be honest. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. And we are done. First one, 10 minutes, wasn't hard in the slightest. All right, 10 minutes is done. So let's move right into the one hour challenge. We're roughly about 55 minutes in. As you can see here, I didn't really go really in depth with the detail because I probably don't have enough time to do it. I mean, it's just one hour. Probably spend more time adding more details to the uh, four hour one. What I'm doing right now is just quickly trying to shape it a little bit because it's a little rough on the edges. Make it a little bit more presentable. All right, 10 seconds left. And uh, we are done. One hour sculpting a turtle. I think it turned out pretty decent. So for the next sculpture, which is the four hour one, we're gonna go to uh, the shore because we discovered it's low tide and the sand is pretty wet. So rather than doing it next to the one hour one, we're gonna go all the way there. So let's go. Sneakers break before the last push. All right. The sand here is actually all right. The water is pretty close, so we can take it whenever we need it. We've got four hours, so I can spend a little time making a good pile. Hopefully you can hear me, it's really windy. <laughs> the hardest part is to pile the sand. Once it's piled or once you prepare it, it's actually pretty easy from there on out. I'm gonna fill it tomorrow. Uh.
A minute left the tide is almost upon us yeah this is basically to help the sculpture hold up because if I go in a little bit it'll completely collapse and as you guys know sand is extremely extremely fragile three two one and uh, we are done all right whip almost before the tide comes in hopefully you guys enjoyed oh my gosh <laughs> Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. I had a lot of fun. Unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. The tide is coming in quick. So, enjoy the tide, swallow the sculpture. Whoa!